What would you say is currently the most broken augment in the game? If you just go by stance, then the answer would be 2 for 1. That is a pretty good answer, considering we are in a reroll meta. But in this video, I want to showcase why I believe Fine Vintage is currently the strongest augment in the game and will likely get decimated by Riot in the near future. So what makes this augment so powerful? For starters, it is a lot better if you take it in stage 2-1, which makes sense because you can simply go for a loose streak, give up on all of your items and then stabilize afterwards with your support anvils in stage 3. Ever since Riot made support items into their own group, they've become much more powerful. For example, Chalice used to only buff 3 units in total, but now it can buff 5 units and grants 10 starting mana to everyone as well. Support items in a vacuum were always quite powerful, which is why augments like stationary support 1 ended up receiving some nerfs in the past and the newly added support thieves gloves has been among the best prosthetic choices. But the true power comes if you start to stack aura items to make your team much more powerful than intended. And no comp showcases this better than the new heavenly ZZBrot comp that has quickly established itself as an insanely strong comp in the meta. How does it work? For starters, you really want to open with fine vintage and roll all of your items into support anvils. Next up, you are looking for around 3 to 5 ZZBrots in combination with up to 3 Runwins and 3 Aegis of the Legion. Since set 11, Avoid Spawn doesn't spawn at the start of the fight and taunt enemies anymore. Instead, it becomes a placeable unit in the planning phase. This allows you to create a perfect setup to buff all of your Void Spawns with Aura items. It becomes quite clear why this becomes a huge problem if you check the stats of these Void Spawns. Already in stage 4, they have a base AD of 173 and a base attack speed of 0.8. These are extremely high stats for mid game and they're still not done scaling. Once you reach stage 5, each void spawn has 225 base AD and 2500 HP. Their defensive stats are quite low with only 20 armor and MR, but this is exactly where items like Aegis and Runween will make the difference. You are effectively creating your own Zerg army, which is even capable of defeating full legendary boards with ease. Now you won't always have the perfect item selection, so outside of ZZ Rod, Runween and Aegis, you will sometimes have to go for a different item. I would definitely recommend picking up at least one large gem, since there is a decent chance that your fights will be rather slow and the additional 40% damage will be very helpful. It also never hurts to have utility items like Obsidian Cleaver, Zika's Herald or Shroud of Stillness. Overall, I would say it is quite difficult to get scammed by these support anvils at the moment. So far, I only talked about items, but you still have to run units. This is surprisingly easy, you are pretty much just going to run every heavenly unit to buff your team even further. So you're looking to add Kha'Zix, Malphite, Nico, Soraka and Wukong. Outside of these units, you can either run Legend or throw in more sage units like Morgana and make use of the bonus Omnivam. I've had a blast trying out this comp and if you want to try it yourself, I suggest you hurry up. There is close to no chance this comp will survive in its current state for very long. Just to give you an idea how strong this comp is, here I was facing off against a fine vintage comp and my only option was to sell my board and roll for a Rallya 3 star. Unfortunately, I missed her. <laughs> Bonaf! 
Needed one more, but Heavenly Zizibrot is not the only comp that we can use with Fine Vintage. If you've played in set 6, then this might feel nostalgic because we are going to stack some ice cream cones. Channel stacking is mech and this is how it works. Your goal in the early mid game is effectively to play your strongest board possible, usually a combination of Story Weaver with Teemo or other upgraded units. You utilize the power of the support items to smash the reroll comps in the mid game before they have their power spike so you can rush for level 9 and add legendaries. There are two very specific legendaries you want to add over everything. Lissandra and Set. Lissandra is arguably the best legendary to add when you're playing fine vintage because she prints your item components which in return means more support items. But you don't have to stop at a single Lissandra. Since you're stacking chalice your goal is to play as many as possible. If you create a front row that consists of Lissandra and Set with chalice stacking everyone will start with a bonus 30 mana. This allows you to pick up the enemy front line and move it to the back line. Once this comp starts going it is absolutely hilarious to witness because you really stop caring about what your opponent is playing. You farm infinite items, clump the enemies together and destroy them with AoE. The best part is that you can experiment with other units as well. For example, you can try a variation that is based around Rakan and have him jump into the enemy cluster at the start of the fight. There is a lot of potential for optimization so I'm very curious to see how this comp will develop over time. Compared to the ZZ Rod comp, this playstyle is way less likely to get nerfed because it requires a level 9 rush, several legendaries and more specific items, but it might end up becoming a casualty if Riot decides to nerf Fine Vintage into the ground. I think it would be very sad to take such a fun playstyle away from the players, so I hope that they end up going with a more mild approach. For example, during PvE rounds there is a really annoying APM check because they count as rounds for the transformation, not counting the PvE rounds anymore, which is quite frankly how most augments in the game currently work, will not only remove the annoying APM check, but it will also delay the envelope slightly and therefore weaken the strategy. There are also some bugs, for example with the cane encounter that grants you a rubberdon and a death blade for 3 rounds. Usually these temporary items don't transform into support anvils but the cane encounter appears to be still bugged so you effectively receive 2 anvils for free which is just way too much. In the end I mean they could also just make it into a gold augment and now this augment becomes a bit weaker by default since the options that your opponents receive are more equal in value. Outside of these changes I wouldn't be surprised if ZZ Rod ends up with less AD scaling or low attack speed so it fulfills more of a role of a tank. This can still result in some cool comms where you can still focus on runwins but it just makes items like Zika or Aegis less effective. It is a bit stupid that your void spawn can easily top the damage charts which is why I don't expect this comp to survive for very long. What is your favorite strategy involving fine vintage? Let me know in the comments. I hope you learned something and see you next time. The GG GG <laughs> Let the ping start. <laughs> what is this? 